Okay, so it's a little weird. I've got people here in my room working and I am making this video. So it's kind of weird for me, but anyway, we'll just go with it. Um, so the mean absolute deviation. Some of you remember how to do it from last year. Some of you probably never did it before. I had one student, not mentioning any names, Zach, um, tell me that he knew how to do it, but he was kind of lazy and it was pretty tedious and he just didn't feel like it. So I would kind of agree with Zach in that it is very tedious. And so things that are tedious but that we do over and over again, a lot of times we can use technology to help us do that. So I am on Google Docs. I'm actually on Google Sheets right now. Um, I didn't swear, by the way. S-H-E-E-T-S -E -E is what I said. Um, and it's kind of like Excel, if you've ever used Excel. Each of these, um, like a table, each of these are, are a cell, C-E-L-L. -L. And what I did was I inputted the data that Ms. Haynes gave you, or that Ms. Haynes put on the Chapter 3, no, Chapter 4 pre-assessment. So there was a question that said, find the mean absolute deviation, and these are the 10 bottom test scores from Ms. Haynes' class. So that's all I did. I typed them in. I typed in the numbers. So let me show you now how I can use this lovely Google Sheets to find the mean absolute deviation. All right, so here it says find the mean. Check it out. Um, I am going to go over here to this little, it's actually called a sigma, um, and it says functions. Mean is really like the average, so I'm going to find the average and see those parentheses. I am just going to highlight these numbers that I want Excel, or sorry, Google Sheets, to find the mean of. Enter, check it out, there's the mean. Is that cool or what? Now, what if I took this 80 and I make it 200 instead? Look, <clears throat> the mean changed. So it kind of just, whatever numbers are there is what it calculates the mean of. So let me go back and make that an 80. Okay, now, right here, it says data minus mean, and then these bars stand for the absolute value, okay? Because remember, it's the mean absolute deviation. Um, an absolute value, this is what I'm saying. Okay, so the absolute value of something is basically just the distance. And so what I just want to do is I want to find what's the distance between each data point and the mean. I don't care if it's positive or negative. Um, I just want to know how far away from the mean is each of these data points. So I am going to use, I, I type in a plus sign because that um, means I'm going to do a formula here. Um, and then ABS, check it out, stands for absolute value. And then I'm going to put a parentheses. So now, there we go. Now, what am I going to take the absolute value of? Well, the data minus the mean. So check it out. I'm going to say this value, and then minus, and then the mean. Close my parentheses, enter. There you go. That is the difference between the data and the mean of my first data point. Now, what happens is, if I copy this down, it's going to think I want to go to each cell. And I always want it to um, subtract from the mean. So I just, this little trick here. <coughs> Sorry. Coughing fit. Sorry there. So when I put this little um, dollar sign in there, it's just a little trick that I know. Um, so that it always copies 88.5. Okay? Now I'm going to copy this down. So... Command C, copy the same thing down, and there you go. Check it out. That just subtracted the data from the mean and just made it positive, whatever it was there. Now, MAD is the average of these. So the mean absolute deviation is just what is the mean or what's the average of how much each data point differs from the mean. So just like I did before, I'm going to go over here because I know that average was one of them. And I'm going to say I want you to average this. Bam, there's my answer. The mean absolute deviation is 4. Um, hopefully you remember that that was the answer. And that's it. So now what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to um, put a link to a copy of this. <clears throat> so if you're going to find the mean absolute deviation of something, you can kind of use my idea to, to help you. Um, you can delete the data. But if you check here, if I double click, 88.5 is not there, but look, up here, it is average. It tells you what's in there, okay? So you could use that as an idea. You can always rewind to see what I did again. Um, 
Same thing here. So in each of these values, it's, it's like a formula. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're using a formula, and then the um, computer is putting the numbers in itself. And that's pretty much it. So um, if I had like 100 data values, it would be really tedious, and this would do it clickety-split as long as I have it set up. All right? Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.